Still? Yeah, it's on right now. All right then. Well, my name is uh, Miles Gorman. Um, my excuse me, for the cheating, but she's cheating. Keep on it. That's your chick. Top on it. That's another. I'm born for the uh, Coyote Pass Clan, and these are our uh, holy dancers. As you can see, there are four of them with head dressings of eagle feathers on their head, signifying where the spirits of um, prayers will be um, heard from. They're all wearing chief blankets. I, I decorate it with metallic color from wind and water designs. Basic abstract signifies life from the Navajo Rook. Abstract um, colors on their head masks signify um, life as well, with the designs of war paint on their face across them. Jewelry signifies prosperity. The background I did was called the desert varnish, and broken pottery signifies my ancestors, the Anasazi. I got the stone from where we pick up um, wood from uh, Chuska Mound. Every week we go up that way to um, get firewood for my family, and we also get wood for Sweat Lodge. It's And um, I did this with acrylic and metallic work. The, the style on my pottery is called monochromatic, and this is freehand artwork. I did this on July, on January. Uh, 13 or 14 but today is Wednesday and um, this is going to Florida and I do appreciate you you, you hearing about this Thank got you a couple again. questions all right so the broken pottery what does broken pottery mean it signifies um, Anasazi and uh, as traditional um, as traditional I am um, it's not taboo or anything I just hear it a lot from my elders um, it's like disturbing a spirit you know you, you let something rest for so long it's 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 it bound to have some some who's it ceremonial um, um, gesture to it, and it's because these were um, these were held for um, storage for their next season on plantation on corn, and they were also used for trade among any other tribes like the Basket people, the Hopi, and also um, Apaches as well. Okay. And then you said there was jewelry. Where's the jewelry? I don't. I'm missing the jewelry that. on the. Oh, it's on, under the eyes. Yeah, on okay. on, on, the, uh, on their ears. It's um, mostly oh, yeah. turquoise and shell. Okay, and what's under the eyes? I'm sorry, I didn't know if it was tears or what. What is that? Uh, war paint. Okay. Uh, the headdresses. Uh, we um, have. Uh, this is a winter chant. Every winter, um, the Uyebe chase we have still to this day um, come out only in winter. Cheko. It calls Cheko. That means when the moon is still up in a crescent formation. That means it's still holding a lot of water. And with these um, dancers going around all over the reservation to this day, I know commonly few uh, few um, holy people. They're called Hatath, these medicine men. They're real traditional, and they they bless these masks, and they go around all over the reservation to do ceremonial practices on our elders. It's mostly for arthritis, uh, loss of sight, blindness, and also um, it's just like a dep if they're feeling depressed or no one's around them, it's just uh, to get the whole community and family together. And this is what my uncle taught me um, when I was a young boy. I never uh, went to public school. I was in boarding school out in many farms. They cut my hair. They also told me not to speak my language, which was pretty lame, I thought. So I came back into this, um, this scene, this community of Chinli. And uh, to this day, we, we still have cultural class, uh, reading, and also history class. Um, my teacher as well, he likes to work. He's, uh, he's up at the Net College. I'm a sophomore right now. My major is environmental science. My second major is fine arts. And I'm a sophomore studying at Net College out in Sealy, Arizona. Now, pan the patterns you said, I got the wind, I got the water. Uh -huh. What These are the, are the basic ahead. geometric designs, you know, like um, bricks, uh, triangles, uh, and also uh, repetition on all the basic symbols. It's like life. You would uh, find a Navajo rug, they have all sorts of style. They have um, Chinli style, they have uh, a thunder style, uh, a river that runs through the water style. And it's just so many other things out there that our young people are trying to this day, like storytelling blankets as well from the Navajo Road. And uh, this is just one of the few mini designs that are being still carried out today. It's just um, symbols, yeah, from the, um, from the Navajo Road. And last is the symbols again in the head, in the, in, uh, below the headdress, I guess, on the forehead. So you got different, yeah, you got the, the patterns that are there. Yeah. What, what do they mean again? Uh, symbolizing, uh, it's just a reflection on life. Um, it means... Um, what you would think of, uh, what would you, what, what you would probably put into life, and what you would probably, what you give in is what you get back is probably what I would say. What again? You okay. know, something, something that you, um, ha, ah means um, when you wake up in the morning and then you bless yourself to, to for everything, you know, like uh, your first breath, um, uh, a good night's sleep, your fire being built. It's just a reflection on life on how you would, what you put in, and you will get back.
Okay. So what the colors mean, yeah? Abstract. Okay. It's just a reflection, yeah? Thanks, man. No Thanks. Yeah. All right.